Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Simmons, the Simons, or the Fitzsimmons family. The first blazoned per fess sable and or a pale counterchanged three trifoils of the second. And it says that this is from Picton and County Oxfordshire. Though I wasn't able to identify such a location and who the armager was, it does say that this was allowed in the 17th century to someone in Ireland. Next, the same coat of arms, this time with a crest featuring on a Mount Vert, an ermine passant, proper holding in the mouth, a sinky foil oar. This was the arms of John Simons, Esquire, who was a member of Parliament for Helston in 1388. Branches of this family include Simons of Bradridge in Boynton and Simons of Hat in Bodice Fleming. And we also know that this was born by William Simons, High Sheriff in County Cornwall, England in the year 1735. Next, this is with the color argent or white instead of or or yellow. And this is the arms of the Simons family of Exeter in Devonshire belonging to William Simmons, the son of Thomas Simons of Taunton. Another with a different crest, granted to William Simons of Lyme Regis, County Dorset, in 1587. And one with a border, and this is from London. A somewhat similar but different design. This was the arms of Richard Pierce, who assumed the surname of his maternal grandfather, Simons, in lieu of his patronymic on succeeding to the Mind estate in Dute Church, Herefordshire. And he was created a baronet in 1774. A baronite is a type of hereditary knighthood. Here we see a picture of Richard, as well as the estate. Next, a coat of arms confirmed and crest granted in 1625 to Richard Simons of Essex, the son of John of Newport in County Salop. Together they had five sons and one daughter. Another coat of arms born by Sir Hugh and Sir John Fitzsimmon in the 1300s. Another, the tincture is reversed. It's found in Ireland without the crest. And then with the crest, it is, or I'm sorry, it's found with the crest in Ireland. And then without the crest, we know it was the arms of Sir Richard Fitzsimmon. Lord of the Manor of Simmons Hyde in England, a founder of the Knights of the Garter, the son of Hugh and the grandson of John and the great-grandson of Simon Fitzadam, who was Lord of the Manor in 1239. And here we see Sir Richard Fitzsimmons. Next. Fitzsimmon, born by John Fitzsimmon at the Battle of Boroughbridge in the year 1322. And it was also born by another Sir John, who was knighted at the Capitulation of Cully in 1348. Another born by Richard Lee Fitzsimon at the Second Dunstable Tournament in 1334. Another born by Sir Rafe Fitzsimmon in the early part of the 14th century. Another granted to William Simons of Ullisthorpe in County Leicestershire, England, with the motto Upward. We know he had sons Joseph, a medical doctor, and Reverend Charles Walter Simons. Simmons. Another featuring a dolphin eating a fish was born by the Suffield branch of the family beginning in the middle of the 16th century.
Another featuring pole axes. This is from Devonshire. Another with battle axes and a chevron purpur. Another granted to Peter Simon, son of Peter. He was a merchant of Austin Friars in London, and it was granted on June 30th, 1760. Another from County Gloucester. A family descended from Thomas Simons of Woodford Castle in Dorset. He had son Giles Simons of Hillisley and grandson Robert Simons, who was a counselor at law. Next, one from White Lady Aston in County Worcestershire. Unsure of the original armager on this one, but we know that a Thomas Simons was fined for not accepting knighthood at the coronation of Charles I. He was of this family, and so was one Justice Simons, a zealous supporter of Oliver Cromwell in the 17th century. Another grant granted to Robert Simons, or Simmons of Whittlesford in Cambridgeshire in the year 1604. Another, this one from Ireland, the funeral entry of Thomas Fitzsimmons, who died in 1595. He was an alderman of Dublin and the mayor in the year 1560. If you enjoyed this video and would like to discover who your ancestors were and learn whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com. We offer professional genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.